I was watching Film Threat earlier this week, and it was like, oh, yeah, we're going to watch uh, Borderlands. Like, that's out already? Like, what? Yeah, I, I had no idea, too. It's like, it first came to our radar when we were at Side Scrollers, where I kind of agree with Melanie Mack, where Kate Blanchett is way, way too old. Oh, yeah, she's like 54 play. or something. Yeah, yeah the, the character's like in her early 20s, and you're putting Kate Blanchett in. Yeah, it's like that alone, that was a huge red flag for me already. It wasn't going to. I I don't feel that was gonna work. It's like because like mm -hmm. I know in the sequel in Borderlands two, Lily and the uh, the the other black dude Roland. I know they get together, so it's gonna be weird if they get together. In the, nah, in the nah, movie. man. <laughs> so you're saying that Kevin Hart is gonna <laughs> tap Galadriel? Oh, is, is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. but the thing is that the movie has not been rece receiving uh, good reviews. Now, this comes up from yeah. Rotten Tomatoes right over here. If we scroll down right over here, man, 10%. Who the hell? Who the hell liked this movie, right? 10%, 51 audience score. Now, if you click into this, top critics is zero. Yeah, man. So like it's this this getting it's get it's so low that I want to see it for myself <laughs> because I mean, how, even imagine like normally we get like critics giving it like Doctor Who levels one hundred it's so good even though it's really bad but imagine it being so bad that even they say it's bad yeah all right so I do want to see who gave it good reviews visually the film does a commendable job replicating the cell shaded look of the games but this stylistic achievement only serves to highlight the film's overall emptiness how's it a, how's it a fresh it sounds so biased all right let's, let's go down who yeah. else who else andrea garcia the cast is top notch and the connection between tina i oh, sorry tiny tina and lilith is one of the most striking points full review in spanish is another one a quasi a decent video game adaptation to be honest man like a lot of like they are hammering in basically punching the dick of all like these terrible video game movies that came out earlier this year not this year uh throughout their lifetime right we have a bunch of really really bad ones but i heard this is like it's not even it's so bad as good it's just awful right yeah. uh who else who else uh top sales a lot of these people give it bad reviews uh aaron gave it a bad uh right here aaron peterson not everything needs to achieve high art these games are fantastically ridiculous ridiculous as well so it fits this world if you leave fan casting out the door and just want a fun time laughing and nudging your friends borderlands is an enjoyable romp it looks like it's garbage another one if you're looking for an afternoon silly goofs great costumes action kate blanche is showing up to work uh yeah like the thing is that when we saw the trailer, I'm like, this thing is awful. This thing is, uh, it looks bad. Um, like I said, Kate Blanchett, as good as she is, same thing with uh, uh, however much people love Kevin Hart or even Jack Black. Um, none of them has the star power to pull me in to go watch the movie. Like, it, it, like great. Is anyone on the cast like, he's like, oh, I like this person. So I'm going to go watch this movie. Like, is there anyone in this movie that's like that for you? No, but then again, this is from a person who's not really into that deep into mainstream Hollywood and movies. So uh, I'm kind of more like, you guys know me, I'm kind of more like a normie when it comes to movies and TV shows. So I'm kind of more inclined to listen to what people had to say more than any star power it, it pulls. So yeah, yeah I, I don't see it that way, but. Yeah, it's get it's getting me really curious though because of how low it is. Because like, it it's very rare for you to see critics, act, uh, certif certified critics in Rotten Tomatoes giving it this low of a score. Oh well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played the games, but I got a kick out of. Blanchett starring in a movie like this and doing a great job. I do wish the script had been adjusted a bit better to accommodate her age. Blanchett fans will enjoy this. Not sure about anyone else. <laughs> but it's fresh. <laughs> oh, but it's man. Fresh. Yeah, but it's good. It's good. The thing is that this movie, I heard it only made $4 million so far. Globally, right? I think that's the global number. I don't know. 
let me see. I the numbers have been sort of like not working for me earlier today. Uh, let's see. Okay. It seems to working now. Uh, it is still not working. Uh, uh, let's go to Box Office Mojo, I guess. Uh, Box Office Mojo. Uh, and let's go to Borderlands, and yeah, right I over here, Domestic. Okay, so wait, seventy five million dollars? No, that's the typical me. What the fuck? I was like, no fucking way. Where the Borderlands? There it is, four million <laughs> worldwide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, because as far as I know, domestic for US is 1.3 M. So it's like when he said four, it's like, okay, that has to be a global. <laughs> that has to be a global. Wow, dude. Only. Wow. And, and here's the thing, though. The thing is, I think uh, they might they might get to you, right? Because a lot of people are like, oh, you got to give it a chance. You don't know. Mm. Why don't you just go watch the movie and decide for yourself whether or not you think the movie is good? Right, so here's an article comes with us from Bounding the Comics. Uh, still, this website still sort of messed up. Right over here, it says, "Take Two CEO responds to abysmal reception of Eli Roth's live-action Borderlands, asks fans to give the film a chance." <laughs> Gray, are you gonna give it a chance? See why it's so bad? <laughs> it's it's so bad. It's making me think. It's like it's like when it gets to streaming services, probably, so I can watch it in HD. And yeah. see, see my take on it, but yeah, I I know the CEO that CEO of Take Two said something like that, but of course he's gonna say that. He's not gonna say that. Oh, this movie's shit. Don't watch it. <laughs> There's no way that's gonna happen. Yeah. Oh man. This yeah. This is really bad. Let's see. Uh, in the face of its absolute panning by critics, the CEO of Borderlands series publisher Take Two is asking fans to give Eli Roth's live action film adaptation of the Gearbox developed looter shooter series a chance. Arriving roughly a decade after the iron was hot for such an adaptation, the live action Borderlands film has been, to say the least, an absolute miss with the critic. Uh, thus far, as of writing, the film is currently holds a seven percent. Now it's ten. Uh, Rotten Tomato score, having received only three positive professional reviews out of forty-five. This is this is getting absolutely worse. Now here's the thing: uh, I saw someone's non-spoiler reviews, and they said that there's a shot of Jamie Lee Curtis's cleavage. Now, Gray, will that drive you to go watch the movie? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Would you want to go see Jamie Lee Curtis's 70-year-old tits? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, right? it, it, it's, it's a complete miscast. If it was someone a lot younger and a lot more attractive. Oh, she's, right? 60, she's like... 65. She's 65. Damn, she looks like she's 70. But uh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Cut you off. Yeah, I was, if it was like, I don't know, maybe, maybe even Sydney Sweeney, <laughs> it would have helped the movie a lot more. Yeah. Oh man, let's see. Uh, I've never played the games, but I got a kick out. So that's uh, this is Grace Randolph, right, right over here. Uh, so we already read that. Notably, while the film also presently hosts a sixty percent audience rating, it should be noted that not only has the film yet to officially release in general audience, but the number of positive ratings were given by either diehard Borderlands fans or the case of the user who opined, this movie is not as good as Bucky Larson, Born to be a Star, or Mega Mind versus the Doom Syndicate, as it was good enough to make me leave my wife over five years. A very clear troll. Uh, very clear trolls. Yeah. Um, I think this movie looks, it looks really bad. It just, it just looks awful and gray did you know that like who's that oh yeah gina gershon yeah she was in bound and i saw her boobs with uh the jennifer tilly she's like 60 something too man like or 50 something like i would say if lilith was played by like you said sydney sweeney anna de armas uh uh uh, what's it called again? Alexandra Daddario. Uh, who else has big tits? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Sarah Jean Underwood. But, I, yeah, yeah. E everyone you said is a lot more appropriate for Lilith, especially like she has kind of like the siren-like abilities in the game. So it makes sense to put cast them as Lilith, Lily, Lilith. I I don't remember, but yeah, yeah. It's it to think that the budget of this film is like a hundred twenty. Really. <laughs> 120 dude oh my god <laughs> and they, I, 
Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I was like, Im- imagine the losses, like 120 in production costs, and they only made in the opening weekend across the globe four million. What's their yeah. what's their loss going to be, dude? It's insane. Yeah, man. And, and according to so I believe this is voiced by uh, uh, what was it called? Jack Black, right? Claptrap. And people are saying that like it's the jokes are stupid, and there's and maybe he. The thing is, he's voice acting, so maybe he can be more crazy. And plus, I, I think he did a good job as Bowser. But I don't think anyone's gonna watch this movie thinking that oh man, it's gonna be so good, you know? I, and there's not gonna be a part yeah. two. And I even the games are like extremely woke now. But what makes matters worse? Eli Roth, I heard, is in charge of another video game project that's coming from Amazon. Do you want to know which one? Uh, I think you already know. Is it the one that I tweeted? Bioshock. (gasps) Oh, God. Okay, that one I'm going to get mad. (laughs) I love Bioshock, man. Yeah, according to what I heard, yeah, Eli Roth is going to be working on Bioshock, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that they gave it to this guy. Um, I could be wrong, but that's what I heard from people. And so people are like, actually, like, what the F, dude? You're going to ruin another video game? Yeah, Bioshock 1 was really good. The story of that one's really good. And if he's not going to, oh, he's going to tell the actors not to watch, not to play the game and shit like that. I, I don't get Hollywood. It's like, why in. Why go as far as to not let the actors even play the games? It'll make a better overall quality movie if you let them play the games because they understand the game. They understand the story. And then somehow you feel like you can do better or you're somehow more superior than the original writers of of the video game. I don't get it. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.